you're just 30 seconds away from a great night of sleep with Bleep. I'm Stuart Hetherington, founder of Bleep, and welcome to Eclipse, the world's first magnetically sealed CPAP mask. Today you're in for a treat. Instead of clunky headgear and straps, Eclipse uses gentle adhesive to optimize a perfect fit around your uniquely shaped nose. But what makes Eclipse an industry game changer is Bleep's new proprietary technology called Magnetic Port, achieving a perfect seal in less than a second. Simply put, Eclipse is like nothing you've ever tried. Eclipse uses Magnetic Port technology and two gentle adhesive strips called Halos to provide you the smallest pat mask in the world. Not only is it quiet, Eclipse is over 30% more compact than any nasal pillow on the market and offers one of the easiest pat breathing experiences you could have. But it's not just a mask, it's a lifestyle change in therapy. Halos replace the guesswork of a silicone seal and are designed to conform to your shape and eliminate poor fit. Eclipse is one of the easiest masks you will ever put on. Addressing problems from dry eyes, marks on the face, broken or damaged hair, and helping your auto CPAP unit manage your therapy more effectively by stopping leaks. There are four quick steps to applying your halos and connecting Eclipse properly. Once you become comfortable with the steps in the application process, it should take seconds to apply. Begin by placing all your supplies on the counter. This should include your Dream Prep wipes or mild astringent, your Eclipse reusable frame, and a pair of disposable halos. The most critical step in understanding how halos function is that you must clean your skin with a mild astringent prior to application. You either need to use witch hazel or isopropyl alcohol to clean around the nose and gently remove the oils from your skin. Do not use soap and water or commercial makeup removing towelettes. Soaps and pre-treated makeup removing products have moisturizers and oils in them that will remain behind on the skin and interfere with the ability of the adhesive to stay on throughout the night. Immediately pat your skin dry after cleaning. Keep in mind that skin types vary and you may need to use a stronger astringent in order to achieve an optimal seal. If you have a mustache, you will need to trim smooth the skin just under the nostrils to allow the adhesive to seal properly. Halo adhesive will not seal over hair or stubble. Halos, when applied to the nostrils, will be flush with the outside of the nose. Your goal is to align the metal ring of each halo so they rest centered over your nostril on both sides. It is okay for the interior edge of the tape to overlap the septum and penetrate the opposing nostril. For your initial application, peel off the paper backing on a halo and lift to your nose. Carefully align the metal ring of the first halo so it rests slightly on the interior of the septum and is centered over the nostril. Once on, smooth the tape against the skin, starting at the septum and working toward the lip and outer edge of the nose and cheek area. Take your time and avoid ripples. Gently moving your nose to the side can help with smoothing the tape and eliminating pockets that cause leaks. Be sure the tape from the second halo doesn't overlap the metal ring of the first halo. Overlapping the tape on the metal ring of the first halo will not allow the magnetic port to create a seal. This can easily be accomplished by trimming the tape with the paper backing on. The tails of the halos can be trimmed to reduce the footprint of the adhesive. If you are consistently getting a great seal, feel free to try this. Then apply the second halo, the same as the first. Halos are pressure sensitive so circle back around the adhesive firmly pressing into the skin to provide a good seal. The Eclipse frame has two functions, to connect the halos for therapy delivery and to disconnect from the halos when you aren't sleeping. Connecting Eclipse is easy. 
Simply lift the frame up to the nose, feeling and hearing the connection of the magnetic ports to the halos. You may need to slightly adjust the magnetic ports by sliding them to center over the opening of the halos to perfect a seal. Disconnecting is just as easy. Slide the magnetic ports of the Eclipse frame across the halos toward the front of the nose. Do not pull down on the Eclipse frame to disconnect. This can dislodge the magnetic ports from the silicone or loosen the adhesive bed, causing leaks. Feel for the base of the magnetic ports through the silicone. Grasp the ports inside the silicone with your thumbs and index fingers positioned just beneath your nostrils. Then push toward the tip of the nose, sliding the Eclipse frame off the halos. Practice this a couple of times to build up muscle memory. When comfortable with this step, connect your Eclipse swivel into your main CPAP tube and turn on your device. When you're ready to get up and start your day, slide Eclipse off and remove the halos in the morning gently peeling the adhesive down and away from the nose. Never rip off the halos, as you could possibly damage your skin. Be sure to ask questions of your HME CPAP supplier or contact the Bleep team directly for help. To aid your success, review this training video a few times to become familiar with the routine. Adhering to these simple steps will allow end users to develop a comfortable night of sleep with the clips. Eclipse can be used without a tube management system, but using one will enhance your experience by removing gravity from pulling on the tube and nose for active sleepers. Eclipse works with any CPAP, APAP, or bi-level device on the market. Additionally, if you need help finding a CPAP supplier to carry or bill Medicare and private pay insurance for Eclipse, please contact us directly and we will help you find one. Check us out at bleepsleep.com and our YouTube channel to learn more about Eclipse and make sure you're following the steps to success. Thank you, sleep well, and good luck on your CPAP journey.